Hey, this is Adam from the AM Podcast Network, and in this video, I'm doing something a little bit different. Uh, Gary from the 1520 Classic Radio Podcast, he sent me a few emails. He wanted to join the network, and uh, we got through the whole process, and he said, well, can I get a review? Can can you give me some tips on how to make my, my stuff better? And I like doing this for people because, you know, it's useful. I want you to become better in your podcasting. Uh, you know, it's one of those things like, I don't need your money. I just want to help you. So it's one of those honest things that I really enjoy doing. And Gary is going to be the first of many. So if you want your podcast reviewed, uh, send me a, send me a link over, uh, Twitter. You can, you can go to AM podcast network and go into the community. You can leave me, you know, a message saying, Hey, I've seen what you did with Gary and I'd like you to do it to mine. I will be happy to. So without further ado, let's see what we're seeing on the screen and let's get to it. Right now, what we're seeing is Gary's website. It's on Blogspot, which is kind of a bad thing. And let me start there first. He's on a third-party website uh, platform, however you want to address it. And it's not his. This can be taken away at any moment. Blogspot owns this. They are getting their website seen, and he's not getting his website seen. So I absolutely implore people to go out, get your domain name, get some hosting it can be cheap you can have a shared hosting they're like three to six dollars a month and so you know that way you own it i want you to own your property so i've seen it too many times i don't want gary getting banned from from here for whatever reason or blogspot went out of business tomorrow which i doubt but still it's a consideration you have to take so i don't like blogspot i don't like anybody building anything on somebody else's your website is key and to go on to that, I understand that I come from, you know, building websites and then, you know, getting media out there. A lot of podcasters are coming in just doing audio and then they'll build all that later. So I understand, but at the same time, he's losing age on his website by not having his own. The longer you have your website into Google, uh, the more Google is going to trust him. So it's going to take him a long time to rank high uh, in Google. If he doesn't have his own website, this will rank high. That's fine. But again, it's a risk. Okay. The first thing that I see right here is not his branding. I do not see the 1520 Classic Radio branding. I see a hip-hop image, which is great, but it's really bad because if I'm the first-time visitor, which I almost am, I can't see his branding. So please don't do this. Your branding is most important. People need to know what your logo looks like, who you are, so that way they can see it on social media and other ways that they engage with you. So I love the picture. Don't get me wrong. I hate that he doesn't have branding. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down, and I, I see on the website here in the sidebar that I do get the little Google Plus logo, but it's on Google Plus, and it doesn't look very good. But I know he has at least Google Plus, so that's good. I don't use Google Plus that much, and neither does the rest of the world. So I don't know if I'm going to put that as my first. That's probably the best social media platform that you can get the most activity from. So I'm moving this somewhere else. I mean, you can keep it, but there's no point in having it there. I scroll down, and I don't see any other social media links besides Google Plus here in the sidebar, which is an absolute miss. Most people aren't going to use Google+. Plus. You should have your social media links in the sidebar. Look at all this space. There's nothing filling it. All right, I won't beat you up, Gary, too bad. But what I do want to point out is right here. This is the first time that I realize that 1520 has a Twitter account and a Facebook account, which is unbelievable, and his email. Your contact, your social media should be right up front with your branding. This should be at the top of his sidebar. This is how people are going to connect with him. So by having it all the way down here, that's a foul. So Gary, please do me a favor and get these up, up, up where your branding is. But let's go over to his Twitter account. So I've already clicked on these and I have them set up. So here's his Twitter account, which is amazing. The same cover that he has on his website is now complemented with his, his actual profile you know his his branding this is what his website should look like i want to see the 1520 right up front 
Now, he's got a little activity here on Twitter. It's been a few days since he's posted anything, and that's fine. But if you want traffic and you want people to listen to you, you have to use Twitter on a regular basis. So that's my uh, that's my stance on Twitter. So Gary, great job on, on the colors, uh, getting the cover image, showing your branding up front. I would love to see this on your website and not just on Twitter. Okay, let's jump over to the Facebook page. Facebook, this is this is what all his Facebook links go to. Gary, you gave me a broken link. I've tried every other uh, link on your page and they all come here. It's broken. Nobody can get you on Facebook. It's not like Facebook is that popular these days, but still, if you're going to link to social media, link to it. All right, I won't beat them up too bad. All right, last thing I'm going to do, because I don't want to keep this going, is, Gary, I've listened to your audio, and I think your audio is great. Uh, I only listened to the episode one, and I thought you did a great job. Music is music. As long as you play it, it's good. It sounds like live radio, which I don't listen to live radio, but it's nice. He does a great job. I mean, I certainly listen to the entire episode. I put in the background noise, so that way, you know... I could check it out in full. So the audio, I don't think it needs to be reviewed in this one. In this case, I'm trying to review what people see of you and not what you hear. So check out his his podcast. Give him some feedback on the audio piece. If you uh, find something that I didn't, that's great. If you want me to review yours, please let me know. You can jump over to AM Podcast Network and let me know what your podcast is. And if I feel like it's deserving, I will certainly review it. All right, that's it for the 1520 Classic Radio, and I'm Adam, so till the next time.